81 minutes, I thought Brighton's football was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Scare at the end, but for 81 minutes, wonderful. How did you see it? Yes, we played uh, a fantastic football for uh, 80, 81 minutes. And then uh, we were unlucky in the first goal we conceded with uh, Teikel, Dank, Kuluseski. We considered the first goal, and after that, uh, we, we we suffered the the quality of Tottenham. Tottenham are the team uh, who played uh, they have played the best football in this part of, in the first part of the season, and so we we have to accept uh, this reaction. But uh, but um, we have to accept another thing. Uh, to concede goal in that way, because uh, if we are able to win uh, for nil and to play in that uh, in that way for uh, 81 minutes, is because uh, we are showing a great character, a great courage, a great quality, and sometimes you have to accept uh, these mistakes. Some really strong performances from your team. João Pedro, I think, was man of the match. Billy Gilmore, sensational in midfield. Some wonderful performances from your players. Yes, I think um, in this season uh, it was the, the best performance, not only for uh, Joe Pedro and Bill Gilman, but I'm speaking uh, in, in general Brighton. I mean, Van Hecker at the back is so mature. I go back to that game against Manchester City here last season against Erling Haaland where he suddenly sto stood tall as a football man. He's in, th this season he's been immense for you. Yes, I think uh, he's becoming um, another great player. Uh, I'm really lucky to be this coach, this this team, these players. I'm really pleased for uh, their attitude, their behavior, their passion, their heart, their balls, their everything. So if you had to do a sort of end of year school report for Brighton and Hove Albion for 20 23, what would it be your, your thoughts on the year? What do you think? Uh, Europe. Then? Big performances, big wins. Listen to the crowd here. Semi Listen to the crowd. Semi final. Uh, Semi final. FA, FA Cup. And uh, you have to. You, you can't forget uh, we are Brighton. Because sometimes your uh, colleague, colleagues. colleagues Sometimes they forget that we are Brighton. We are not uh, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, Newcastle. We are Bri We are still Brighton. You understand? Yeah. I understand. Yeah. What does 2024? Why? Why? Because I've seen Brighton and Hove Albion where they were not so long ago, when they didn't have a ground, when they didn't have players like. Milner and Lalana and players like this here at this football club. So I've seen that side of Brighton. I'll be where you are now. Oh, yes, but I, I said like this because uh, we can't forget uh, we lost uh, three important players. Mm -hmm. We are only one team in Premier League who sell, uh, sell, sold three or two more uh, Colwell, two important players. The the other big team, the other uh, eight nine big teams in uh, in Premier League, they didn't uh, sell no one. Do you need more players in, in January? Will you get more players in, in January? I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, this business is of uh, the owner, the sport director, the recruitment. Will you have a good new year? Will you have a good new year now after this performance? No, because we we play we play the second of January in uh, West Ham. Very tough game, another very tough game, and uh, we would like to win another game.